I was going to carry my own gear, my own oxygen, and uh, try to get to the top without any outside help other than the fixed ropes which were in place. This is my sixth expedition to the Himalayan peaks. I managed the summit without any troubles and I had a bit of a problem on the descent. I didn't notice anything was going on. I was actually uh, discovered by people climbing up to the summit uh, more or less unconscious and uh, they revived me and I continued to descend on my own. The lack of oxygen near the summit of Mount Everest means that you're very sensitive to hypoxia. As a result of some malfunctions in my oxygen equipment, I actually was getting less oxygen than I thought I was going to get. I actually remember being about right here coming down, and they found me down about here. You can see there's nobody else around. I was alone for about 15 hours. There's the summit, uh, devoid of anybody. The wind's probably blowing 40 to 50 miles an hour, and uh, this was my my summit photographs really. You can see the summit in my uh, glasses there. Uh, this, is, this is where I knew I had to go before I got off the ridge and this picture was taken in the morning but it's right at the location where I have my last clear memories of what happened. That was a, a beautiful day with uh, some of the best views I've ever ever seen in my life that uh, a 360 degree view of, of mountains and uh, planes that it just seems like the world goes on forever and uh, that that was certainly uh, one of the more gratifying experiences that I ever had.